Stop using Linktree. Let's talk about why you're driving traffic away from your website and promoting another business instead. But first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Lauren Simpson. I'm helping you maximize your time and talents as a growing small business owner, so make sure to subscribe for new videos every week. When Linktree came out a couple years ago, I was one of those that hopped right on the bandwagon because it seemed like it made a lot of sense to break down links in a simpler way for social media. And on the surface level, you can easily get a free version. It's not terrible, it's pretty easy to set up and straightforward. But one day, I learned that there were people that were actually creating their own link trees, if you want to call it that, or their own kind of short link pages through their website instead of using Linktree. This is genius and it's probably underutilized. By creating a separate page on your website, not only are you able to fully customize it to match your brand colors, have your images, you can make it look even cuter than just link, 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 um, and there's a lot of ways that you can really customize it to make it work for you and your business. But this is also a genius way to get more people onto your website. Let me explain. So sure, when you click through Instagram, TikTok, wherever you're linking all of this, they're going to go to the page that has all of the links, similar to they would with Linktree. But the awesome part is once you get somebody onto your website, if it's set up properly, the cookies and all that stuff does the magic for you. Once somebody goes onto your website, and yes, that page still counts, if you were to run a Facebook ad in the future, for example, you may pop up on that person's Facebook even though they've only been on your website to browse once. Same with Google. This is like the magic of getting people to click on your website even if they're not quite ready to buy. We all know that most people take an average of seven times having to see something before they're ready to purchase. So why not make it easier by making that first time go onto your website on your link page so then when you start running ads or you're popping up all over the place, you continue to be top of mind in their social media presence. Another reason that this is genius to do is you're already paying for your website. So you're already paying for the domain name, you're already paying for the hosting, maybe you're paying for someone who sets it up or maintains it. So instead of having to pay Linktree extra so that you have more customizable options, not only can you customize it through your own website, but it's already incorporated into your existing budget. And then lastly, you're not sitting here promoting another business over your own. Listen, I am all for helping other small businesses grow, but in this case, I would much rather just have all those beautiful options for my own website and promote my own business. So instead of having it say the little short link tree URL, now it's going to say your URL. So an easy way to do this is I like to have just yourwebsite.com slash links. It's an easy way to link to it, it's an easy way to remember it, and it's a short way to put it out there. So I have to know, who else knew that this was actually a really good option over Linktree? Are you going to start doing this instead of using Linktree? Let me know in the comments below. It takes a little bit more work on the back end, but it's totally worth it in my opinion. On that note, let's talk about the top five mistakes that you can make when setting up your business and how to avoid them. 